Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here with me. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Good morning. <laughs> and let's get right into this Yee tea. So there was a lot of uh, conversations over the weekend over this Tamron Hall interview that I did. Okay. Where I was discussing that sometimes it was challenging to be the only woman in the room. Okay. In the studio. Mm -hmm. Not in the building, but in the room as in in the studio. Here's what was said. Because you were the lone woman on this show, it seemed to me that people were always riding you. Yeah, and you know, I was the only woman who worked there too. I mean, when it came to producers, camera people, and it wasn't an easy room for me I to be in. I didn't know that. So I feel like I did need more like backup. And so that was hard for me too, to be the only woman there with nobody to be like, check somebody, you know, you shouldn't have said that like that. It's just me. And there were times I did do that behind the scenes because we should be able to do that. Now, in the room, I met the producer was a man, Eddie, who I really love. Eddie's okay. a great producer. Mm -hmm. um, and I also was talking about our camera guy, Nick. You know, oh, he okay. was in the room filming. And then our board op, who really can't leave the room. <laughs> Literally. Because <laughs> we have one here now, and he cannot get up and go anywhere. <laughs> so, and then obviously the other two hosts. So I wasn't discussing, you know, and I know Charlamagne has brought up um, Taylor, who is a producer, okay. who cuts audio, does all of those things. But she has a separate room where she works out of, where she does that. So her responsibility is not necessarily to be in, to be in that room. Gotcha. So for the people I was talking about are the people whose job is to be in the room. And so I wasn't trying to make anybody feel away. Sydney is in here right now and she's filming this and she does digital. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, they're editing video clips, they're doing different things, they're coming up with ideas, but that's not happening in the studio. Right. That's happening in the area that they have allocated to them outside of the studio. So there's a lot of great women. Obviously, in that same interview, mm -hmm. a lot of other things were said that I thought were really positive, but I don't think I've ever been, or ever not said that it was challenging sometimes. Right, right, right. To be in the room and to be the lone woman in the room. Yeah. So I it never blew up like this before, I guess, but maybe it was the way that I said it. I'm not sure, you know, but I guess people were interpreting it to mean that I meant that there were no women working on the show, and that was not my intention. Right, so right, right. not to make anybody feel like, you know, there because that's simply not true. I was talking about in that studio, in that room, and even Sydney would tell you, I would walk out that room and be like, oh, I can't be in here for now. And I would even say, when I leave the show, I don't even want to talk to any guys. That's why I had lip service with right. all women, because right, right, I right. was like, oh, I can't talk to any guys for like two hours. And I feel like I've said that on many interviews, but somehow this... Yeah, this wasn't the into a lot more. this wasn't the first time I've heard you say it. Were you surprised that it became a, a yes. thing? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I was definitely surprised. But you know, uh, one thing I did do, and I advise this to anybody when something happens, because this has happened to me countless times. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't stay on social media because you don't want to be sitting there clapping back at people. Right. A lot of people were like sending me screenshots, like, "Look what this person said. Look what this person said." I wasn't even paying attention or responding to any of that. Right. Because, honestly, I had a great weekend. I was with Donnell Rawlings over the weekend. Right. You know, I went to the SZA show. I took my friend's daughters to go see SZA. Right. I did a lot of different things. You know, I have a lot of celebrations and positive things happening. And I think I feel like I also know me. Like, mm -hmm. if anybody's like, Angela doesn't support women, I mean... We know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be an issue, too. People would be like, oh, you always take the woman's side. You always... It's like, no matter what, you just can't win. So right. I just... Mind my business, go about my business, do my thing, do my job, and focus on moving forward on Way Up with Angela Yee. Like I said on the show, everybody was happy for me when I got my own show. Yeah, for sure. And it's a blessing, and I'm happy to be here and honored. But I did work hard for it. And that's another thing somebody told me. I have to stop acting like I was given a show. I earned it. I worked really hard. Absolutely. And, you know, at iHeart, they tell me that all the time. So, yes, I work hard. I do what I do. And Way Up with Angela Yee is not going anywhere, guys. <laughs> Hopefully next year we don't play that clip back like, well, it's canceled. No, right. it. <laughs> when I called you this weekend, you were like, what? wait, what? Like, yeah, you I were... don't know. Honestly, I really didn't know what was going on. I was at a comedy club. Yeah, I was like... with Donnell. I was like, I'm not paying attention to none of that. Right, yeah. That's uh, noise. Okay. All right, so that was that. That was your Yee Now, when we come back, we have About Last Night. That's where we talk about things that we did over the weekend mm -hmm. or the night before. And I had a really fun weekend, so we'll talk about that on Way Up with Angela Yee.